What's up, everyone, and welcome to tonight's devlog. I'm going to be going over a couple of things, uh, new additions, and talk about the new update. Um, for starters, the update's almost done. It is in public testing. Um, if you go into the betas branch uh, on your Steam library of Into the Flames, you can select it now. Um, it does have some bugs. I am working through them, um, but the update is nearing completion. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some of the new things I'm working on. So for starters, there's this new command board. Um, this is completely for role-playing purposes. I'll show you how to use it real quick. Um, no one else can see your command board. And anytime you want to refresh it, there'll be a button on here to completely co clear it out. But it'll stay persistent throughout the whole emergency. So basically the way it works is you have all your different units that could be coming to the call. Um, and you have these blocks, like everything's typable for the most part. So like whatever gives your chart list ad report, you could say they said two, two stories. Fireshine Division 2. Utility on. Charlie side. So, you try this side report. The gas shut off. Yes. Um, the way these blocks are meant to work, you can use it however you want. Um, this would be your first division or basement division, whatever. And then first floor, second floor, third floor, or however you want to divide it up. Um, so you can say like engine one is the first unit there. So they're operating with rescue two on this floor. You can say ladder six is on the roof. Venting. Like however you want to use it, completely up to you. Um when the units get put out of service or whatever, like let's say you send them to rehab, type in rescue two's in rehab now. And then you can kind of keep track of everything. Um your EMS units you can put PLS4 or whatever. Um, the par things, this is technically supposed to be 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes into your incident. It's it, you can do whatever you want. You can just say par, you can just put a Y for yes. They missing somebody, no. Um, this is what alarm they were dispatched on. So you can say this is on the one, which would be your initial alarm. Let's say engine three was added on your third alarm, whatever, so on and so forth. You sign writ and everything else. Um, this just helps you keep track of your emergencies. Um, there's a helpful little kind of legend thing at the bottom. Let's say like engine one, add the first line, just say A. So just something cool that you can mess around with. Up to you guys. Um, has some little guidelines and stuff you can follow, and a checklist to keep track of. So. Like I said, fully role playing. Um, the other thing is there's new smoke changes coming. So basically, black, you got a good fire going. Brown means it's about to flash or spread. And white or steam is it's being put out. Um, this will help command and just everybody kind of realize what's going on in a fire. So just because it's brown doesn't mean it's going to flash no matter what. This is good timing. Um, there's still a chance that you can get water on the fire and kind of stop it from spreading or flashing. Um, some of the other things is you're, you'll be able to open and close windows and doors without breaking them. Um, you can kind of see this isn't set up in this build yet, but pretty much if you open a window, you're going to give it more oxygen and you can potentially cause it to spread or flash immediately. Um, and I got the same thing with breaking them. But this would also allow you to close the window and then kind of stab it. So um, as you can see, it turned brown. It's ready to spread. The column changes. Um, so you know it's about to spread or flash. Um, I don't have any other room set up on this little area. So there's only um, just this one little like fire. So you won't actually see it spread. But I'm going to continue to tweak it and make it a little bit better, refine it a bit. Um, but it's just something cool 
to kind of like if you're running a scene if you're in there you can kind of tell the changes instead of saying how it is now to where like when it flashes it just it just instantly goes and as you can see the other smoke turn back to black no longer flashing it completed its flash and now we're back to just chugging so um i'm gonna be doing more things with this um i haven't fully decided like the full extent of it but just going to the feature that i thought people would like adds a little um variety to the fires so, like I said, this update's nearing completion. Um, I'm hoping to have it out soon. I don't have an exact ETA. I'm still working my two, my two full-time jobs. So, um, I am still dedicating a lot of time to this game. Um, and then I'll be having the Into the Plains mobile and VR game out sometime next year. So, anyway, um, you guys have any suggestions, comments, questions, concerns, anything, you can leave them below. And uh, I hope you guys have a good night.